Hi everyone, I'm Bronwyn from Gallery 2, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the activities in your take-home art kits. We're going to be creating collaged postcards inspired by Brianna Palmer's exhibition Traversing the Line with No Fixed Point, and clay barnacle bowls inspired by Twyla Exner's Cling. Let's get started. In your kit, you will find the following supplies. An envelope containing the collage materials for your postcards, a glue stick, containers of paint and varnish, air dry clay, a paintbrush, and some popsicle sticks. For our first activity, we're going to be creating collaged postcards inspired by Brianna Palmer's Traversing the Line with No Fixed Point. Her exhibition is comprised of many collaged elements. She also created these collaged prints, which she then turned into postcards. We're going to take inspiration from this to create our own postcards. In the envelope, you will find the collage supplies for your postcards. We're going to use the two white pieces of card as the base of our postcard. How you choose to design your postcard is up to you. I started by choosing the images that I wanted to have on my postcard. I also cut out shapes from the patterned paper. Here I cut the paper into the shape of a hillside. You can also see that I'm looking at some of the postcards from Brianna Palmer's exhibition for inspiration. You can also use any collage materials that you have at home, like magazines, newspapers, photographs, or images printed from the computer. It's totally up to you. Then I glued everything down to the white card. I decided to go for a circus theme on my second postcard. This is a theme that can be seen multiple times in Brianna's exhibition. Once you've finished the front, it's time to decorate the back of the postcards. I decided to keep mine simple and glue one of the images onto the back. If you want to send your postcard to family or friends, you can use a real postage stamp. Just make sure to leave space for your message on the left and the address on the right. I decided that mine are just going to be pieces of art, so I used some vintage stamps on mine. For our next activity, we're going to be creating clay barnacle bowls inspired by Twyla Exner's Cling. Her exhibition is comprised of larger-than-life barnacles attached to satellite dishes. We're going to take inspiration from her use of barnacles and create our own barnacle bowls made out of air-dry clay. Start by kneading the clay so that it's easier to work with. I'm tearing off a few small pieces of clay that I'm going to mold into tiny barnacles later. I put the small pieces back into the plastic bag so that they don't dry out while I'm creating my bowl. Roll the clay into a round-like shape and using your fingers, press down in the center to start forming the shape of your bowl. I gave my bowl slightly curvy edges to make it look more organic and natural. The shape of your bowl is up to you. I use the popsicle sticks as carving tools to create grooves and lines in the clay to give it a barnacle look. Now I took the small pieces of clay that I tore off at the beginning. 
To create tiny barnacles, I formed them into pointy pyramid shapes and then used the popsicle sticks to create lines and grooves. The best way to make the tiny barnacles stick to your bowl is to use a popsicle stick to create lines on the bottom of the tiny barnacles as well as where you want them to go on your bowl. Then use your paintbrush to dab water onto the barnacle and the bowl. Water is the best way to glue two pieces of clay together. Just lightly press the tiny barnacle into place. Once your bowl is done, let it fully dry. This could take a couple days. For this video, I'm going to speed up the process. Perfect! Now the bowl is fully dry and ready to paint. In your kit, you'll find three containers of paint. I started by painting the entire bowl white. I really enjoyed being able to speed up the process, so let's skip ahead. Perfect! Now the bowl is painted white and fully dry. I decided to mix my paint to create a custom color. If you have paint at home, you can paint your barnacle bowl any color you like. Maybe a green or pink barnacle? That would be interesting to see. Once I was happy with my color, I lightly dabbed the paint onto the lines and grooves that I made earlier with the popsicle sticks. Let's clean up this paint so that we can do the last step of applying varnish. Perfect! Applying varnish to your bowl will help to protect the paint and give it a natural matte finish. Make sure to let the varnish completely dry. Perfect! Your bowl is done. I'm so happy with how my collaged postcards and clay barnacle bowl turned out. Be sure to send pictures of your artwork to us at programs at g2gf.ca.